So if you're choosing to sort your cannabis buds based on their size and, and density, this Debaco University video is for you because we're going to go into some of the details uh, with this process and give you some hopeful, uh, helpful advice. All right, let's get into sorting cannabis buds based on size and density. So first off, bud density. Uh, bud density is, is essential because the more dense, basically, the more yield. Here we see a very dense uh, flattened flower. Here we see one is a lot less density. More density simply means more target plant material uh, was produced, and also the denser buds has improved visual appeal, increasing the price consumers are willing to pay. So even if these, quote, weighed the same, this would be one that would drive a higher dollar value, which should be the goal of any grower. Now we're maximizing density, so genetics do play a role, so make a wise selection at the very early part of the process. When growing, keep the environment under continual control and document the conditions daily, so you want to have good records of your growing area. Provide the plants, but specifically with good light intensity and the proper spectrum if you're growing indoors. If you're growing outdoors, you're limited with the sun, make sure that you're trying to prune them and make sure you're getting as much light exposure to the bud regions as possible. Uh, this applies in both indoor and outdoor, and you want to have good uh, trimming and pruning style. Pruning style of the actual plant, trimming of the actual final buds. And do not harvest too early, wait until you get definitely that level of maturity with your buds so you're able to get the maximum cannabinoids and terpenes and have a good visual um, end product. So when starting uh, bud, buds by their size, this can be automated, which is advised for larger scale operations. There's two main commercial options um, here. Both kind of serve the same purpose. The goal is to take a collection of plant material, collection of plant material, and sort them into different containers or categories. This one kind of does it with different hole sizes and kind of a fan, kind of move them around and to section them out. Here we're looking, they all kind of pass down this area here, and as it gets progressively wider, the smaller buds will fall through here and be sorted here, and the larger buds will make it further down and be sorted down here. So this automation is a great way to speed up this process. Now what's the importance of sorting? When, why would we go through this kind of process? Well, bud size can directly correlate to price. On the extreme case, the popcorn, or kind of the small buds, are classified as seconds or kind of B grade. With indoor production, buds will be more consistent on the plant from the top to the bottom, with the top buds still being the highest concentrations of cannabinoids and terpenes. Going to be very similar to those on the lower end, but definitely higher uh, with that greater light exposure. And there's other studies here on this channel that will kind of go into some more detail on that. For outdoor growing, there tends to be more variability among buds based on the location on the plant, location within the field, how well it might be shaded, how other branches might be blocking it. So again, keep that in mind, but this is able to take whether it has consistent or inconsistent original starting product may be. It does allow it to be sorted, so you have a lot of uh, consistency in your packaging. Then it leads us to the last point here would be second cut flower in the sense that often these are smaller sized buds, but if from an indoor grower, the potency will be very similar to the larger, typically more expensive buds. This can be advantageous for someone who wants to try a new variety, uh, but it's important to kind of sort that kind of popcorn to the A grade um, simply because this is what a lot of uh, consumers are looking for, particularly pur purchasing dry flour. They want those A grade. Second B grades, uh, you can still get some uh, value in those for sure. Uh, sometimes they are sent to make pre-rolls or extraction in the extreme cases, but you definitely want to select out your A grade because ideally the A grade quality is going to get you an A grade price. <music> 